Scientists around the world are committing entire labs to creating a vaccine. And just last week, researchers in Washington state conducted their first human vaccine test. And another vaccine being developed in Maryland is showing positive results after a few weeks of trials. Inside these test tubes and beakers could be a big step forward in the fight against the coronavirus. Dr. Gregory Glenn is the head of research and development for pharmatech lab Novavax. He and his team have spent weeks developing a vaccine. Vaccines have traditionally had an eight to 10 year time frame for development. Clearly that's not a um, scenario that's acceptable here. So, so we're gonna try to compress this timeline if at all possible. Researchers around the world are sharing information with one another, picking and plugging away at data that scientists think will help fast track a vaccine. Dr. Glenn says he's close to a potential solution, a spike protein that'll be used to block the virus from attaching to a host. I think a vaccine is going to have to have a very high level of immune responses to block that because it's, it's going to be extremely hard to interrupt that binding. And that, of course, interrupting the binding will keep you from getting sick. Scientists in Houston, Texas say they're building off a vaccine they created to fight another type of coronavirus, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. If you learned how to make a vaccine for MERS, you should have 75% of the, of the knowledge you need uh, to get to the next vaccine. That's how come we were able to, how we were able to do it um, that quickly. Dr. Glenn says the path to a treatment is complicated, but he's cautiously optimistic.